Hello all and welcome to a tutorial on how to get monsters from CDs, ISOs using EPSXC 2.0.5 if you haven't already upgraded to EPSXC 2.0.5 I suggest doing so as it makes life a lot easier. The last time I did it I got mostly Pixies, Color Pandoras, and Mochis in Monster Rancher 2. Monster Rancher 1 had no issues. It is always best to upgrade it to this current system. This tutorial can and will vary for other emulator users. This one will mostly focus on EPSXC 2.0.5. Now let us get down to business on the plugins of what you'll probably need or prefer to use depending on what you got with you in store. EPSXE CDR WNT slash W2K Core 2.0.0 works best for me. Works best for CDs and some ISOs. Or if you want to just use your ISOs or you don't have a CD plugin for your computer. Mubi 2 CD Disk Image Driver 2.8 will work just as well, although you are not given the option to use CDs. Physical CDs, that is. Either one works. Other plugins will vary, and I don't know much about the others, so... WNT slash W2K works pretty good for me. It should work good for you, too. Anyways, let us begin with... the... tutorial. Boot up any of the Monster Rancher games. We're gonna focus on both Monster Rancher 1 and Monster Rancher 2. We'll do Monster Rancher 1 first, since it's the first one in... Some people had questions about that from other sites. So, just go to the shrine like you do on the console. It's the same way as doing it on the console. Anyways, you hit escape, change your disk. It'll give you this option. Select any random CD you want to use, like... We can go with, uh... ZZ Top's Afterburner. Good old ZZ Top. Just insert the CD as you normally would. If your computer does not have a CD drive, but you want to use this feature, an external CD drive will do fine. Once the CD is in, you press X and let it read the data. Then you'll get this prompt saying to insert the Monster Rancher CD. I have the ISO. I also have the physical CD. Either one will work, but I'd rather use the ISO version to not wear down the CD. Once it is in, Press X, get the big moment, and hello, Orgasmatron. You get your monster of whichever CD you inserted. With uh, CDR Movie, it's a different case. You go to plugins and switch it to movie 2 and you boot your game up once you boot your game up it does not matter which one you pick whether it be CD or ISO you'll have to pick an ISO regardless perfect for anyone without a CD drive you do the same stuff like you do with the previous one go to shrine insert a CD quote quote you can hit either CD-ROM or ISO. 
CD-ROM is usually the best choice. I guess we can just go with Busta Move 4. Let it read the data like it would on a regular physical CD. And switch it back to Monster Rancher 1 or 2. Get the same big moment and see what it gives you. Oh, hello. It's that one gel I used in a stream. Europa? I think that's the name. Anyways, back to topic. Back on topic. It works just as well. Getting monsters in Monster Rancher 2 is pretty much the same as doing it in Monster Rancher 1. We're going to focus on the first one that we did before. Anyways, you go to the shrine, like wherever else you get your monster aside from the market. Disc stone, and you go to CD-ROM. Insert any CD you want. It does not matter. Let's go with Aerosmith's Permanent Vacation. If anyone's curious, I am playing Monster Rancher 2 using the hard mode patch. Courtesy of Alkius. It still works the same way. Once you get to reinsert stuff, you just go to your ISO or your CD-ROM or whatever you're booting the game up. And I forgot to mention this. Uh, if you're using the first one I mentioned, boot up the Q file. If you don't use the Q file and use the bin, then you always get a Niton Kato. Regardless. And we get one of the biggest assholes in existence, aside from Eric Sparrow. <laughs> Maybe not the biggest asshole, but... A pretty much one of the biggest assholes indeed. And finally, MR2 using CDR Movie. The same way you get pretty much all monsters. You insert the quote quote CD of any kind. Let's just say, uh, let's just say Brave Fencer. And you just change the disc afterwards. ISO, Month Rancher 2 hard mode. Or regular, whichever you're, whichever you want to do. Either works great. They're interchangeable. They just have different opponents, and pretty much a lot of patched up stuff. And we get the Shogun. Pretty sick looking monster, to be honest. Anyways, this wraps up the tutorial on which plugins to use, and yeah, cool looking indeed. This tutorial wraps up on the plugins I use for Monster Rancher 1 and 2 when it comes to EPSXE. Anyways, I hope this helps, and uh, happy ranching!